and welcome to the first actual developer diary log tutorial guide I guess uh, for Elfie the um, little game that we decided to have a go at so very simple scene to start with um, we've got temporary floor camera we've got our own um, camera controller script on here that we'll go through shortly uh, we've got an empty that's tagged as a player with the player controller script on that again we'll go through shortly and a capsule collider now the capsule collider goes all the way to the floor as we'll need that later um, to interact with some objects um, we decided to go with a hovering character just it's just less hassle in terms of animation and yeah we, we think it could be a bit more fast paced without looking silly uh, so uh, we have, have our actual mesh um, just a couple like very very basic materials just default colors and then we've got two empties here one for where we will be eventually mounting um, weapons and then another mount on the other arm I guess um, that is a secret for now but we will be uh, playing with that so uh, carriage control script really simple uh, okay so we set a couple of variables here for the speed like forward back left and right and then here we are uh, using the mouse to control the direction so we create um, a temporary plane like a fake plane as it were just to give the, the ray casting something to hit uh, and then we create a ray uh, where are we uh, yeah if we hit the plane then we get um, a point returned on that plane a coordinate and then we tell the character basically to look at that coordinate over amount of time we'll change that to five for now uh really simple uh nothing groundbreaking uh, we do need to add in the um the keyboard controls but and then the camera controller very easy uh we get a reference from the player so it knows where to go um how smooth the translation should be uh height above the character and then a camera velocity variable um, to control how fast the camera moves uh, so don't need that so uh, yeah it just uh, we create a new position for the camera we tell it okay uh, on the x and the z axis be exactly the same as the player so always right directly above um, and then the height we, we set that in the inspector um, to see how high to, to set how high the camera is above the character and then we move the position every time it changes based on um, where the camera uh, how fast we need to move and how smooth so again very simple nothing groundbreaking um chances are i'll amalgamate this into the player controller um at some point but for now i just like keeping things separate so i know where i'm looking so if we go back in just wait for it to save and then if we run unity there you can see character rotates to point uh towards the mouse yeah wonderful so now again uh, just go back into the player controller and this couldn't be easier uh, input start get key and then I mean we're going to hard code this in for now but we will be adding in uh, Uh, options to remap the keys sorry my 
mind went completely blank then. Uh, and then we just tell it to translate dot forward oh, multiplied by our movement speed multiplied by time dot delta time uh, just so it does it over time and not instantly and that's literally it for moving in a single direction so anytime the W key is pressed down it's going to move the character forward uh, based on the movement speed that we've entered in into the inspector which we'll sort out in a second and it's literally the same for every other key we, we're going to go with um, standard um, WASD control for the moment uh, later on we will be adding um, controller support so S we want to go back and we want to go left and right and then because we've set our strafe speed we want to do strafe speed Um, just because I, it, to me, it feels it, like the, the game feel is better if the straight speed is slower than the actual forward speed. And also, what we'll do to the reverse is we'll divide that by two. So if going backwards, we move at half the speed than if we're going forwards. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, I got so many things open. <laughs> um, right. Okay. So if we set our movement speed to five and our straight speed to three, we'll see how that goes. There and there he goes. And as you see, the camera lags behind a little bit. which I like well I will change uh, I will change that let's have a look okay yeah that works for me so yeah we have our character running around so like the um the actual speed values can be changed anytime um to suit so we'll tweak that later when we've actually got a map um well i hope you enjoyed that and it was informative uh next episode will be um sorting out weapons and firing and weapon switching i believe if we have time um, yeah thank you um thank you for watching if you like i say if you enjoyed um you know consider liking subscribing you know all the usual youtube stuff and i hope to um let's say see you again but i hope to have you back for the next episode and see the game progress thank you